The increase in the Indian population has resulted in luxurious lifestyles and resources. One of such luxurious resources is vehicles. These are magical inventions to humankind. At the same time, we have both advantages and disadvantages from vehicles. This video will speak about only disadvantages and how to overcome them. One such disadvantage is the after effect of the end of life vehicle. End of life vehicle is a vehicle that has reached its end of life and not fit for a road. There are two types of ELV. Premature ELV is a vehicle that lost its life due to the road accidents. Mature ELV is a vehicle that runs safely throughout its lifespan and gradually becomes not fit for a road. According to the Metals Industry and Recycling Sector Observer, Government is boosting the ELV recycling efforts in India. Indian government has plans to introduce new laws on scrapping ELVs. And that is AIS 129, Automotive Industry Standard. There is a need to minimize the impact of end-of-life vehicles, ELV, on the environment. This will help to protect, preserve, and improve the quality of the environment and energy conservation. The vehicles in scope with Indian law are M1 category, L1 category, L2 category. M1 category includes the carriage of passengers, comprising not more than 8 seats, including driver's seat. L1 category includes maximum speed not exceeding 45 km per hour. L2 category includes the vehicles other than L1 category vehicle. Substances forbidden under the law. Lead. Mercury. Cadmium. Hexavalent chromium. Who is responsible for ELV? Number 1. Last owner of end of life vehicles. Number 2. Collection and dismantling centers who treats the above mentioned category of vehicles. If your organization belong to automotive sector, it is time to know more about the law. Give us a ring at the below mentioned contacts and send your queries at info at globalpccis.com. Like and share the video. If you have subscribed to our channel, subscribe it now. Press the bell icon and never miss another update from Global PCCS.